Hello and welcome to Mystery Us. I'm Tony Pratt, your host for Mystery Us. And our guest on this edition of Mystery Us is Peter Jostling. Peter is the director of the Garlic Center based in Sussex, England, which was established in 1993 to provide an independent source of information about the medicinal, culinary, and general properties of garlic. Welcome to Mystery Us, Peter Jocelyn. Thank you very much indeed. I'm so delighted to be here in Nashville because I'm a huge country music fan. So this is a real honor for me to be here. Well, you came to the right place. So. I did. <laughs> okay, now you have formulated a stabilized version of garlic, which is called Allison. That's right. Most people would, would understand what garlic is, and they know mm -hmm. that it's got a lot of very interesting properties. Mm -hmm. But for literally a hundred years, people have been trying to remove allicin from fresh garlic and capture it. And it was only a few years ago that I led a team of scientists and engineers in actually managing to achieve that for the first time in the world. So it's quite a breakthrough in the garlic market, if you like, in the garlic world. Right. So what, what, le what process or how did you live your life that led you to this whole garlic? Thing? Well, I, I used to work in a medical publishing company and um, <clears throat> we published some data on garlic being able to reduce cholesterol and blood pressure. And I, I was quite surprised about this because when I was a kid, we never ate any garlic. You know, my mum and dad thought it was, came from France and it smelled a bit funny, so we never had it in our house. Right. When I went to university, I, I learned about uh, uh, chemistry. I'm a chemist by training. Mm -hmm. And um, when we started publishing articles in the medical press on garlic and its benefits for heart and cholesterol, I went into the British Library, did some research, and to my surprise, you know, this is now 20 years ago, okay. we found hundreds of clinical papers and articles on garlic. So I kind of figured there must be something in this stuff. Right. And from that day on, it's been a process of trying and testing to uh, try and achieve that ultimate ambition, which was to stabilize the allicin from garlic. So when you say stabilize the allicin, in other words, just eating regular garlic won't give you the same effect. Well, when you, yeah, when you cook with garlic, obviously you destroy the garlic. Yeah. You actually release the allicin. Allicin's a very mm. unstable chemical, so you've got to find some way of, of capturing it. And lots and lots of companies around the world, lots of clinical scientists like me have tried to do that for many years. Um, but everyone's failed until we came up with a little simple piece of chemistry and all we do is we basically crush garlic, mm -hmm. we then flush the allicin that's being produced out of that solution using just water. We don't use any aggressive chemicals or anything like that, so it's a real natural technique. And you end up with a liquid which has been diluted significantly, mm -hmm. and when you dilute a toxic chemical or an unstable chemical, um, the stability goes the other way. So that was the, the clever bit of chemistry that we added. We had to use a bit of temperature control and mm -hmm. pressure control and we do need to know what quality garlic we start with. So that simple process led to a, <coughs> the first ever stabilized allicin liquid and that means that we can go and process it further and make it into capsules and creams and we have a new gel formula and that sort of thing. And what kind of evidence do you have that about uh, allicin's effectiveness? Well, um, we're a small British company and mm -hmm. uh, we, we, you know, because of my background in, in, in medical publishing and the pharmaceutical industry, mm -hmm. I know that doctors and naturopathic doctors like to see evidence of efficacy and safety. So we decided immediately to reinvest any profit we made into basic research. And over the last five, six, seven years, we've shown that the extract we produce uh, can be combined with other herbal uh, compounds and that you can use them to get rid of uh, viruses, funguses and bacteria very successfully and we've concentrated in those areas uh, in the last five or six years and we've had some really dramatic results in terms of getting rid of infectious organisms. Even uh, for example MRSA, right? The well, MRSA. yeah, you, that that's right, for? yes, you, you call it MRSA, we say MRSA which as you know is methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus. It's a bit of a mouthful, but basically it's a bacteria that you find everywhere. So it's, mm -hmm. it's here in the TV studio with us. It's probably on your lovely hat. Um, <laughs> it's certainly probably up inside your nasal passages mm -hmm. because one in three people in the world carries a Staph aureus up here in their noses. Mm. And if, if you're a healthcare worker, 
you know, a doctor or a nurse or a radiologist, anybody who works in a, in a hospital situation, then the incidence of staff carriage is one in two. Mm. So every other healthcare worker has a staph uh, infection up here. Now that's not a problem. It likes you and you like it. It's quite happy. Okay. But what Staph aureus likes to do is it likes to find a route into the body mm -hmm. through a sore or a cut or a bruise or a bite yeah. or, or, or an operation. And that's where most often MRSA rears its ugly head, up until recently anyway, would be in a hospital situation where you have an operation and your wound fails to heal because you pick up this in infectious organism. And that is what's known as a... It's a horrible thing, really. It's a pus-producing cocci, so it releases pus. Mm. And that means that wounds just don't heal. Right. Uh, and so what we've done very successfully in the last few years is we've shown that our allicin extract uh, can actually clean those wounds out, allow them to heal, and get rid of MRSA infection very, very successfully. Okay, now your book is called Allison, the Heart of Garlic. And if we can just zoom in here on this. See if we can get a shot of this book. And where can people get the book and the product? Well, Allison is, is currently sold in 16 right. countries around the world. Yeah. This book really is an A to Z of how to use stabilized Allison. So at the moment, um, what we've done recently is we've combined ginger with Allison and we've formulated a product mm -hmm. called Allergen. Uh, which is an, a, a, it's a knockout uh, branded product because it can kill MRSA, it can okay. help uh, wound infections, it can get rid of funguses and bacteria and viruses. And we've got a lot of data to support the fact that the, that the allergen can actually do these things. So it's a, it's a really good time to look for a stabilized Allison product. So the allergen has ginger in it also? Yes. Which Yes. That actually improves? It does. The over, the, over the last seven or eight years, um, we've, we've looked at Allison, we've exposed it to millions of people worldwide, mm -hmm. and we've been very successful. But what we've also discovered is that when you add in something like ginger, you get what's called synergy. In other words, the two components work together mm -hmm. much better than they do separately. So the, the ginger actually allows the Allison to be even more efficient at killing infection, um, plus, of course, ginger itself has some fantastic properties. It's very good at um, uh, Im improving joint mobility, for example. Mm -hmm. So allergen is ideal for arthritis sufferers or for people with you know, stiff, stiff and sore joints. Um, but the, the ginger also helps to improve the sort of immune defense properties of allicin. We know, mm -hmm. we know that allicin is very good at killing uh, microorganisms, right. but it's also very good at boosting your immunity and mm -hmm. preventing you from getting a repeat infection. So that's a really important um, aspect of, of this, this of this material is that it can be a preventative treatment as well as a treatment that you can use if, if you have a, a problem that's already established. So it bolsters your immune system, so your immune system pretty much cures everything or solves that's all your right. problems. Yeah, basically you can, you can improve the CD4 T cell count or your, NT, your, your NK cells you, you know, the, the natural killer cells in your mm -hmm. immune system. The allicin basically stimulates the production of more of those cells. So our bodies are constantly being attacked and flooded with viruses, bacteria, funguses, mm -hmm. and usually your immune system can cope. You know, it's a, it's right. a great system and it works brilliantly. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, if you're working hard, you're under stress, or you're like me, you might be a diabetic, or you might have some other condition that, that what means your immune system is working overtime anyway, then eventually your immune system can crash and you get an infection. Now, if you're taking allergen every single day, that's far less likely to happen. Right. And we've shown that simple things like common colds, for example, can basically be prevented if you take one, just one capsule of allergen every single day, you're far less likely to actually end up with a cold during the cold winter months, uh, mm -hmm. if you get anything like that here in, in Tennessee, because it's really hot today. Um, uh, and so we, we, you know, we actually proved that in a double-blind placebo-controlled study. So we know that it prevents the common cold, it reduces the symptom load, mm -hmm. and you recover much faster. And more importantly, you don't get another infection because of this immune-stimulating property.